Hello and welcome to my Spore Special Vehicle Spotlight Helicopters. I'm not the author of any of these creations. The name of the actual maker is under the name of the vehicle and it's partly in tribute to those who made them that each creation is the best that I could find of its kind at the time. So first off I'd like to show this one here. This is the UH-1 Iroquois which initially was designated the HU-1 and therefore got the nickname of Huey. And this first flew in 1956 and played a very significant role in the Vietnam War. And as you can see it has a rotor in the its main rotor has two propellers as well as its rear rotor has two propellers as well. And the designation UH or the U and the UH stands for utility, so utility helicopter. And as a utility vehicle it was capable of being used in ground attacks as a cargo helicopter had a role in medevac, in other words, in rescuing injured soldiers, and also in troop transport. So, it, as I said, I had a very significant role in the Vietnam War. And my father-in-law also actually was a helicopter pilot who flew a Huey. So, next I would like to show you the A H one Cobra. And here's the Cobra. As with the Huey, it has a rotor in the front with two propellers and a rear rotor with two propellers as well. And basically this is because it shares an engine and a transmission and of course the rotors with the Huey or the Iroquois. The AH-1 Cobra first flew in 1965 and as the U stands for utility the A in AH stands for attack so this was a, an attack helicopter and was the the primary he attack helicopter of the US Marines as you can imagine this gun in the front here is the primary weapon the primary gun and it has rockets attached to its sides. Next I would like to show the CH-47 or CH-47 Chinook or Chinook depends on how you'd like to pronounce it and basically a lot of the helicopters get their names from Indian tribes as with the Iroquois the Chinook is also the name of an Indian tribe this helicopter first flew in 1961 and has a top speed of about 196 miles per hour which is very fast especially considering if you see the size of this thing and the C and CH stands for cargo so this cargo helicopter is used mostly in troop movement artillery emplacement and battlefield real resupply and this helicopter is still in heavy use to this day even though as I said it had its first flight in 1961 and you can see clearly that um, even though in this um, creation there's four uh, propeller rotors on both the front and back the actual design of the helicopter has three propellers in the front and the rear However, as I said before, this was the best copy I could find of the Chinook and it's, it shows many of the other details very well, such as this rear door, which is where you would load this helicopter. Next, I'd like to feature what I think many people will be familiar with, the UH-60 Blackhawk, featured prominently in movies such as Black Hawk Down. And this entered service in 1979 to replace the Iroquois, the UH-1 Iroquois, or as I said, the Huey. This, this helicopter has four 
propellers in the front and four in the rear and is also, as with the Huey, a utility helicopter. It's been exported to several countries and is used to this day in many theaters of combat. It has large doors on its side which may be left open um, either to drop troops or to fire weapons out of. It's quite a famous helicopter really, the Black Hawk. Next we have the AH-64 Apache and as with the Cobra the Apache is an attack helicopter. The Apache has nose mounted sensors here in the front which are used for target acquisition and also for night vision and it had its first flight in 1975. It has four propellers in the front and four in the rear and it also has a 30, mi 30 millimeter chain gun between the main landing gear. That's what this is right here. That's a pretty big gun. Um, now this is basically a helicopter that is flown by the US Army. So in basically this helicopter is built around a gun. I mean it's a flying gun. So this this machine gun or chain gun is a significant part of the attack in attack helicopter. Now I want to move on to a couple of helicopters that are basically Soviet helicopters. And first off we have the MI-8 which also has a more upgraded version the MI-17 HIP. And the designation HIP comes from NATO so I don't believe the Soviets or the Russians now actually call it the HIP. It's a NATO designation specifically um, to be used when North Atlantic Treaty Organization countries refer to this helicopter. Now this helicopter uh, has a very good success rate and it's used by over 50 countries to this day. Russia is the largest operator which makes sense since it is a Soviet helicopter and it first had its flight in 1961. It should have, I can't tell because it's spinning, but it should have five propellers in the front and three in the rear and you can clearly see that it only has two in this um, creation but the overall shape is pretty accurate. It has a fairly, fairly boxy shaped um, main section as well as a tail that sort of juts out and is it so, looks somewhat like a separate part rather than one full um, body of the aircraft. The tail is clearly um, its own projection from the main body. And the HIP is a transport helicopter but can also be used as a gunship. Now, as I mentioned Russia is the largest operator but China has at least 250 of the MI-17 upgraded HIP aircraft or helicopter I should say. And lastly I want to show the which one? I believe it's this. Here we have the MI-24 Hind. And again, the Hind is a NATO designation. The Soviet pilots called it the flying tank. And when it was painted with the camouflage style paint, they liked to nickname it the crocodile. This helicopter had its first flight in 1969. It has five propellers in the front and three in the rear, clearly this image or um, model I should say does not have three in the rear but it should have five and three. The, bod the body of the hind is heavily armored and can resist 50 caliber rounds. The 50 cal rounds this this is a very heavy um, armament on this helicopter. 50 cal rounds are a 
a very strong bullet. Uh, so um, the Soviets basically created a very, um, very good um, gunship here, attack helicopter, and like the uh, Russians said when they named it the flying tank, it's very well armored. This helicopter is um, fitted with uh, a large weapon in the front. I, I can't. I don't know the exact. Um, um, millimeter or uh, whatnot of that actual weapon but as you can see it has two um, cockpits they're uh, separate from each other so if I if I um, am getting this correctly I believe this would in the front would be actually the operator of the weapon where this would be where the pilot sits and this helicopter can be fitted with different armaments for different missions so it could play a role in air support or as an anti-tank helicopter and also could be used in aerial combat. I hope you enjoyed this. This is going to be um, a series for um, my Spore game and I plan on doing a few of these with the different vehicles that I find interesting in the game. And as I said, I've uh, created none of these and you can see um, DH-106 on Spore made a good majority of these and also John Freeman. John Freeman also does very good Spore vehicle models. So until next time I hope you all enjoyed this and I'll hopefully see you or have you join me for the next episode. Till next time, take care.